Sister Wives Maddie Brown shares EV medical update. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my update gossip channel. Even though Maddie Brown Brush isn't active with Sister Wives any longer, fans are still interested in her life. She and her husband Caleb Brush live in North Carolina with their three children, Axel, Evie, and Josephine. Middle child Evie was born with Facto Syndrome, meaning some of her bones didn't develop fully. She uses a prosthetic leg to get around and will need bigger ones as she gets older and grows. Recently, Evie chose a brand new prosthetic that Maddie couldn't wait to show off to followers. Even though Evie Brush is differently abled, her parents Maddie and Caleb are doing everything in their power to make the world accessible for her. When she was very little, they made the decision to amputate part of her leg and fit her with a prosthetic instead. It was an incredibly difficult choice, but they knew they were doing what was right for their child. Sister Wives fans can see that Evie is a very happy little girl as she grows and plays with her siblings. Now that Evie is a little older, it's time for her to get a new prosthetic. Maddie Brown Brush shared a photo of the colorful medical device on social media. Evie's new prosthetic I love how this one looks, the mother of three shared on Instagram. New prosthetic obtained. She chose a unicorn. This time, I personally like this a lot better than the pink she chose last time. Since it was just an Instagram story, comments weren't publicly visible to other fans. However, many Sister Wives fans seem to love the new design. It's wonderful that healthcare companies can make prosthetics look fun and exciting for children. Will the brush children have Grandma Janelle around more? After Garrison Brown took his own life in March, Janelle Brown has been spending more time with her surviving children. Even though Maddie Brush and her family live on the other side of the country, Janelle enjoys going out to see them. Some fans even speculated that Janelle is making plans to move out to North Carolina. After Garrison's tragic death, there might be too many painful memories for her in Flagstaff. Although it's a complicated situation, the Brush family would really enjoy having Janelle so close. Caleb and Maddie love parenting their three children, but extra. Hands are always helpful. Axel, Evie, and Josephine would also love spending more time with their grandmother. Sister Wives star Robin Brown tends to keep her kids' lives away from the limelight. Apparently, she keeps them under wraps and tends not to reveal anything about them. Hence, there have been several instances when the celeb has concealed information about her children. Amid all this, viewers noticed a shocking sign. Some eagle-eyed fans pointed out at the chances of Aurora walking down the aisle. But that's not all. They shared some proof and left the viewers in disbelief. Is this true? Is Cody and Robin's daughter about to get married in season 19? Sister Wives, Aurora is getting married on season 19. Sister Wives season 18 left many questions in the minds of the viewers. They were curious to know what the upcoming edition would have to offer, and they noted some shocking facts in the last season. One of them was Aurora having a boyfriend. Apparently, this came after Robin had kept her daughter's life secret for a long while. A Reddit thread recently started in which the op talked about Aurora's boyfriend. It revealed that Robin talked about a guy her daughter was dating. Apparently, this was the first time she had talked about her kid's personal life on the show. This made the viewers wonder if she was hinting at the storyline of season 19. It is evident that Cody wouldn't marry just for the sake of keeping the show going. He has made it clear that he was happy with his monogamous life. Hence, there is a fair chance Aurora's marriage would be a storyline for the upcoming show. Moreover, viewers would perhaps be interested in knowing how Cody and Robin would deal with such dynamics after they have already created chaos in other kids' lives. Sister Wives, what else to expect from Season 19? Sister Wives viewers initially felt that Season 18 would be the last one. This is because the basic storyline of the show no longer exists. Apparently, Christine, Janelle, and Mary have already walked away from their marriage, and Cody is currently in a monogamous reunion with Robin. Hence, fans are sure that the Browns won't return for another season. But it appears that the Browns aren't really giving up on their family show. Christine recently confirmed that her family was filming for another season. She revealed that the upcoming edition would feature some completely new dynamics. 
As for the celeb, there would be moments where all the OG stars of the show would be under the same roof for the sake of their kids. Moreover, there is a fair chance that Garrison Brown's death will also be a part of it. He recently took his own life, which led to several reunions of the Browns. So, it appears that the network wouldn't leave the chance to capture these overwhelming moments of the family. Viewers are now waiting for the network to confirm and are eagerly waiting to watch what season 19 has to offer them. Sister Wives star Cody Brown owns four vacant building lots with no money to build, but yet, he buys another plot of land in Flagstaff. What's up with that? Cody Brown dropped a clue suggesting the direction of his future plans. This includes an extra lot of land he recently purchased. It seems after the dust settled on the mess scene on the On Sister Wives episodes this season, Cody made one heck of a purchase. Sister Wives, what is? Cody Brown thinking, more land. Sister Wives followers already know that Robin Brown ended up buying a house. Her miracle of a rental home just never materialized. So even though they're counting their pennies, the Sister Wives patriarch purchased a house for Robin. But it's a lavish home that cost them just under a million bucks. Then, at the same time, it looks like Cody Brown purchased another lot to erect a house. That piece of land is adjacent to Robin's new sister wife's home. So why did Cody buy this parcel when he has four sitting vacant on Coyote Pass? No one knows what direction Cody Brown's compass points in these days. Even his sister wife's ladies need help in navigating his many ideas. It seems his future plans and the many changes he makes confuses the ladies from Sister Wives. But it did seem odd that the supposedly cash-strapped family purchased a home for almost a million dollars. But it didn't stop there. Then on top of that, Cody adds, the cost of another lot to build on into the mix. The empty plot of land is owned by Robin Brown and Cody Brown. On Flagstaff land documents it shows he purchased the land next to the house he bought for Robin. But interest in this land purchase brings up more than the price. What is Cody planning to do with this land? Cody Brown never mentioned buying this extra building lot. Even when the news spread across social media that Robin purchased her new house, he kept quiet. But, it shows up in the sister wife's husband's list of property holdings in Flagstaff. Months and months went by without a mention of this extra land. Then finally this week Cody seemed to drop a blurb on social media about this new piece of real estate. Cody Brown talked about the latest sister wife's house he purchased for Robin. This got him started on how he misses his adult kids who live far away. So, if the sister wife's women can't follow Cody, who's all over the place plans? Then the fans sure can't. Some of the adult kids live in other states. Such as Maddie Brown Brush and Aspen Brown Thompson. Cody Brown hopes someday some or all of them will move to Flagstaff to be near the family. After this, the sister wife's papa shared these hopes for the future, he writes, hence the extra land in Flagstaff, as. So, if he plans for one of his kids to possibly build in Flagstaff one day, does this make sense? Why wouldn't he purchase land next to the four? Lots they already own, it's not as if Coyote Pass land is all sold. Cody previously bugged his friends to buy parcels of property for sale on Coyote Pass. So, why wouldn't he do the same? Instead, the leader of the Sister Wives tribe buys the land next to Robin's house. There's one problem though. As far as fans learned from the show, this is supposedly just her temporary home. His wives and his fans don't know what Cody Brown has up his sleeve next. But from the looks of things, this guy appears property rich. Despite his constant complaining on camera that his finances are such a mess, Cody now owns one more vacant lot. Sister wives Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown differ on how they're riding out the coronavirus lockdown. It seems COVID-19 concerns put them in isolation like every other family in America. Unlike most families, they don't all seem to be together. Now, it looks like Cody Brown's wives hunkered down with their own separate families, but who got their shared husband during the lock-in? Sister Wives, is Mary Brown landlocked? It seems the Brown clan's practicing a division that Cody Brown says he's against. Since Mary, Janelle, and Christine all shared what they're doing during the COVID-19 outbreak, you get the feeling Cody's not with them. Mary Brown is marooned at home, 
as this sister wife's spouse says she's missing a cruise. Mary was ready to set sail with her Lularu co-workers when the cruise line canceled their outing due to coronavirus, which hit many pleasure ships recently. So, it sounds like Mary Brown is all alone, with not even a puppy to keep her company. But she still seems upbeat. So, the first of the sister wives tribe, Mary Brown, spends her time connecting with friends and customers online. And, Mary enjoyed the snowfall in Flagstaff as well. Both Christine Brown and Janelle Brown take photos of Cody with their kids to post online. That's the first clue. The sister wives patriarch probably isn't at either of their homes. There's no pictures of Cody with any kids during this isolation period. And not with solo Mary either. Christine shows her crew doing DIY facials. She posted a photo of the aftermath of smearing the gunk on their faces. So, Christine's spending her isolation time with her kids from the sister wives crew. No doubt, Christine Brown's earning the nickname Cody gave her as the fun wife. So, if he was there, you know Christine Brown would have plastered him with gunk too. But, since Christine's with the kids and their dad's not spotted, that's another sign Cody's on lockdown with. Another wife. In another pic, little Evie Brush plays with her brother and Truly Brown, sister wives Christine's daughter as well. Janelle Brown maybe lost track of time hunkering down at home during the outbreak. So, Janelle said she got up and took a shower to get ready for a conference call. Once ready to take the call, this sister wife's mom realized it wasn't scheduled until the next day. Now, Janelle Brown reports no one in the sister wife's family is sick. At the same time, she sends her thoughts to those who are. Plus, she shared pics of the big snowstorm there that helped to lock them down too. Finally, there's Robin Brown. She didn't say how she's filling her days or even her thoughts during the coronavirus pandemic. The only message from Cody and Robin is the above video. Even though they're not together in the TLC message on the lockdown, that doesn't mean they're not writing this out under the same roof. Maybe this sister wife's father, of 18 is shuttling around Flagstaff to keep up his scheduled visits. Or maybe he's hunkered down with wife number four to keep the social distance. As for Janelle Brown, Mary Brown, and also Christine Brown, they're keeping fans updated, just not on their husband and fourth co-spouse. Sister Wives star Robin Brown isn't the most animated out of all four wives on the show but the pout she sports lately is hard to ignore. It's certainly hard to ignore for Cody Brown. But the fans also comment about her demeanor across social media. Sister Wives, Robin Brown wears a pout these days. The fourth wife to join the Sister Wives tribe seems to be on a crusade to save the family's finances. Robin Brown doesn't want to spend money on buying a home. That's because it will set the Browns back from building homes. Robin Brown's mood starts to affect the entire family. Even Janelle Brown believes the rift between Robin and Cody is serious. Robin never brings up her problems concerning the sister wives' shared husband. So, when she talks about this with all four wives, a red flag goes up for Janelle. Cody Brown fumes and Robin Brown pouts as they go about their daily activities. In between, they blow sky high in anger when Cody mentions buying and Robin sticks to wanting a rental. This sister wives duo looks to be in big trouble relationship wise. But something must have happened. That's because Robin Brown, who is so concerned about saving money, now, in real time, she lives in a home that costs just south of a million bucks. While she fought Cody tooth and nail to hold out for a rental, that didn't happen. Sister Wives followers already know that in real life Robin Brown lives in a home that she owns today, along with Cody. His name goes on all his wives' home titles. So, if Robin couldn't get her own way, which was renting a home, why wouldn't she insist on economizing when buying a home? This house gives each of her kids their own bedrooms and it boasts four bathrooms. Her new Sister Wives abode offers all the luxuries, which is nice, but not always essential. Robin Brown's campaign to save the sister wives' money seemed to fly out the window with the purchase of this house for just under $1 million. The home listed for $936,135, but records indicate the sister wives' couple closed on the home in August for the price of $890,000.
Robin has five kids living with her in the new 4,395 square foot home. But families everywhere can and have raised their kids in houses half that size, even smaller than half the size. It just makes sense that if Robin Brown's main reason not to buy was to save their finances for building, she would have economized. Especially if this is just a temporary home like they say. The sister wives co-wives aren't even sure anymore what will happen with Coyote Pass. Now that Robin has such a lavish home, maybe this is the place she plans on staying. After all, in a recent episode, Cody learned the price of his land has skyrocketed. His lawyer told him if he built homes on the sites to rent out, he'd make a killing. Flagstaff rental market is at a premium because it lacks homes for rent. So, did Cody get those money signs in his eyes once more and change the course for the sister wife's future living plans? Did this start with Robin Brown buying her own cushy estate that's far from temporary digs? Sister Wives star Christine Brown was overloaded with questions about her daughter Aspen Brown Thompson, after Sunday's episode. Either that, or she felt an odd need to share some information with her Sister Wives followers. Sister Wives, Christine Brown offers news about Aspen Brown Thompson. Christine Brown gave an update on Aspen Brown Thompson, her daughter, after the Sister Wives episode ended Sunday night. She only said one sentence which contained very little details. But first of all, fans were thrilled to see Christine spending time with Aspen Brown. Christine said she needed to see her daughter's new house so she took the trip to Utah to visit Aspen and her husband Mitch Thompson. The fun wife, as Cody Brown refers to Christine Brown, went to see the young couple's new home in Lehigh, Utah. If this location sounds familiar, it's the city the sister wives lived in at one time. Christine tells the sister wives camera how this makes her jealous. She loves Utah but it isn't safe for the family there. She's also jealous because Aspen has family around her. It seems Mitch's family, as well as one of Aspen's many grandmothers, live around them too in Lehigh. So, Christine Brown is jealous. She lives in Flagstaff with her shared husband, three co-wives and a slew of kids still home. She then said she wished she could be closer in location to the sister wife's older kids, who moved away from home. Afternoon filled with hummus and sarcasm. While visiting her daughter they made Christine's famous hummus and shared a few laughs in the kitchen. Christine Brown sometimes takes things a bit too far when it comes to conjuring up a laugh. She told Aspen how she handled her sister wife's spouses when Cody wanted to build one big home for all of them to live together. She delivered that news with a bit of sarcasm aimed at her sister wives. It seems as if Christine enjoyed her time at Aspen's house. Some of the sister wives enthusiasts asked a few questions about how Aspen and Mitch were doing. A few others wondered if they still belonged to the same church and possibly considering a plural marriage. Those questions went unanswered. But Christine Brown did share a quick blurb about Aspen's head. More precisely, it was about a scar she has on her head. It seems out of the blue Christine divulged that Aspen had a scar on her head from a workplace injury. Looking at Aspen during the last episode from Sister Wives, her face and head looked flawless. But maybe someone spotted something as the scenes played out. It seems Aspen Brown Thompson's scar took a backseat to Christine Brown's famous hummus. Fans' comments suggested they were looking for the recipe she promised. The visiting mom kept her promise and posted it online for the fans. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video. Mary had always had a close relationship with Robin's children, especially Solomon and Ariella. She rushed over to see them as soon as they were born. Mary later had a swing set in her yard specifically for them. The family's separation during COVID-19 was difficult for Mary because she lived alone. She couldn't wait to see Robin's kids again, even if they could only be together outside. Solomon and Ariella were equally excited to see Mary, which shows how important of a role she played in their lives. As Mary and Cody's relationship became strained, she became distanced from the family. It pained her that Robin didn't reach out as much. Mary's bonds with her sister wives dissolved as the family became fractured. The children had loyalty to their birth mothers, and Mary respected their boundaries. 
It's difficult to assess the bonds Mary currently has with all of Cody's children, but it's clear she still loves them and cherishes the role she had in their lives. Mary was sometimes treated as the villain on Sister Wives, but she was simply finding her place as a mother to her husband's children. When Janelle and Christine had their hands full, Mary stepped in as an authoritative figure. It was evident how much she supported the children as if they were hers. When the family began to crumble, Mary held on to her loyalty. Mary's love for all 18 Brown children is what made her stay in an unhealthy marriage as long as she did. Mary Brown from Sister Wives has been posting gorgeous tanned selfies after her glam body makeover. The reality star was one of Cody Brown's four wives for over three decades. Mary was his first wife, making her an integral piece of their polygamous lifestyle. As the years continued, the cracks in her partnership with Cody began to show. He checked out of their marriage after Mary's famous catfished scandal and revealed she had been communicating with someone. She attempted to put back the pieces of their relationship but had no luck. Mary and Cody officially split during Sister Wives season 18, but it was too late to reverse the damage of their negative relationship. She was neglected by the Sister Wives patriarch for years and has begun to rebuild her life as a single woman. Mary thought she was going to be with Cody forever, but things changed. Since they called their marriage off, Mary has been reclaiming her life and going through a weight loss journey. She has a newfound sense of confidence that shines through in her social media posts. Mary looked like a bronzed goddess in a still from one of her Fridays with Friends Instagram live videos. The Sister Wives star posed for a selfie with her dear friend Jen. They held up matching glasses that read, Permission to Offend. The recap was posted on October 27, 2023, though Mary still looked tan in the picture and video. She likely had fake tanned and used makeup to achieve such a glow. Mary and Jen chatted with her Instagram followers throughout the Fridays with Friends Instagram Live, which started as a forum for friendship during the COVID-19 pandemic. Mary looked as confident as ever in a bright yellow hoodie that brought out her tan in a selfie on Instagram. The sun crept into the photo, highlighting Mary's skin and bright blue eyes. The yellow shade of Mary's hoodie illuminated her tan and dirty blonde hair color. She subtly smirked in the photo and looked much happier than she appeared in Sister Wives. After years of mistreatment by Cody, Mary is free to live her life the way she chooses. Instagram is one outlet she utilizes to stay connected with her supporters and share updates on her life. Her stunning blue eyes pop with her tan. Mary has beautiful baby blue eyes that naturally stand out no matter what she wears. Those eyes have been looking brighter since losing the weight of her marriage with Cody. Mary looked different in Sister Wives in contrast to her current appearance. Whether she intended to or not, she wore the weight of her problems when she was still married to Cody. It had to have been hard for Mary to sit back and watch him give time and attention to his fourth and current wife, 